Hey there! So last week, I um, started playing around with epitrochoids and how you do transitions between them and introduced the concepts of loops, of arcs, of hard transitions, of soft transitions, and of mixed oops, transitions. So um, let's, let's, let's play around with these in, uh, in a given context. Let's, let's see what happens when we apply all these ideas to different circle sizes um, with some shapes that we're used to playing with. Um, so we're going to start off with a box pattern four petal anti-spin flower. Um, I have two possibilities of where I can take this in terms of the transitions. There's either an overlapping circle inside of it or there's a circle that doesn't overlap but touches it at one point over on the side. Um, I've been breaking these down in my notes as the intra-tangential, that is the concentric circle, versus the extra-tangential the circle that intersects at only one point. Um, to make life easier, I've just been abbreviating them IT and ET. So, if we're going to do soft transitions from a four-petal anti-spin flower to unit circle in IT, we played with this last week. This is four-petal to cat eye, right? And if we go to the ET, it is a unit circle extension. Easy, right? If we want to change the size of the circle somewhat, let's say we want to go to static spin. Well, as it so happens, because the hand stops moving with static spin, the soft transition to both ET and IT is exactly the same. If, on the other hand, we want to go to trichetra, we find that the two uh, flowers from ET and IT share a pair of petals, but that the trichetra cuts one of the petals out. And likewise, when we go to the ET with soft transitions, we've got a trichetra sized extension coming out of it. If we want to stay at the size of this flower, when we go to the ET, it becomes a form extension. Like so. None of this should be news. Um, what about if we wanted to do hard transitions? Well, if we go from our four pedal anti-spin and stop both hand and poi and switch them to the IT unit circle, we've got a cat eye once again, but you'll notice it's a cat eye going the opposite direction. If we want to go to the ET from a hard transition, once again, hand and poi stop and start moving in the opposite direction. We've got ourselves a unit circle extension once again going reverse direction. Okay, so let's test this out with static spin. Opposite direction, but ET and IT are the same thing. What about trichetra? Once again, shares two petals, but reverses direction. We go to extension, likewise, or the ET, and likewise it's a trichetra size extension going in the opposite direction. We want to stay in this size, Full arm extension in the opposite direction. What about mixed transitions? Excellent question. Um, let's go ahead and do hand soft poi hard. In which case, there's a really funky thing that happens when we go into the IT. Because hand and poi are going in the same direction, they want to go into an extension, right? Or a full arc. Problem is, is that they're starting from a point where the poi is on the inside of the circle rather than the outside. So depending on how you want to look at this, it's either what I'm choosing to see as a cardioid shaped cap, like that, or this is a transition into an inspin flower, for example, like that. If we want to go to the ET, however, it reverses the pattern of the anti-spin flower. That is, if we start off in box pattern, and I do poi hard, hand soft, we wind up in diamond mode rather than square mode. Funky, huh? I've worked this through in every permutation that I can think of, and the same results essentially keep, uh, keep coming out of it. Namely, um, 
when you're using an arc as a transition point, if you're doing either completely soft transitions or completely hard transitions, it's going to stay in arc, no matter if you're going into the IT or the ET, right? It doesn't matter if you're going from four pedal to triketra or um, cat eye, etc. It's always going to be an arc. Even if you go to the ET, it's always going to be an extension, just different size extensions, right? If, however, you're doing mixed transitions, the arc can be transformed into a loop, right? For example, when we discovered that the mixed transition going out of a four pedal box results in an inspin flower, right? Um, you'll also note that whenever we reverse the direction in the hand, the perception of the audience is that the, the entire pattern has shifted direction, which either they perceive a change in shape or the pattern having completely reversed itself, depending. Nonetheless, uh, apparently the hand is the primary point that we're watching for a direction. Um, beyond that, if we have a complete loop that is in isolation and we want to get to extension, we can try going into an anti-spin flower and using one of the resulting arcs to switch over into extension, or we can switch into static spin and go into an extension from there. But no matter what, to get from isolation slash loop to extension slash arc 100%, you have to have an intermediary shape that you go through, even if it's just for a quarter of a turn. Even if I try going straight between the two, I'm going into static spin for at least a quarter turn in order to have my hand catch up with where it needs to be to get into the extension. Um, and speaking of static spin, you may have noticed that the mixed transition for static spin looks exactly like the hard transitions and the soft transitions. Um, what I've found playing with uh, static spin is that you can just as easily insert it in place of an arc or in place of a loop, and it works just as well and it feels like either a soft transition, or hard transition, or a mixed transition. Um, the reason for this being, of course, that the hand no longer has a path that it's following, so there's nothing to compare the path of the poi to it. At this point, I'm thinking of it almost like a mathematical zero, or a gesture, or um, a joker slash fool card in a deck of cards. Uh, that is, it is kind of the Swiss Army knife that you can insert anywhere, and it can behave like an arc, or it can behave like a loop, which is really fun because you can use it to switch between two loops using soft transitions, or between two arcs using soft transitions or hard transitions. It's 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 a fun one to play with in that regard. Um, a couple weird things that have come out of this experimentation. Actually, let me see how I'm doing on time. Oh, I'm out of time. Okay, I'm gonna have to save that for a tech blog. Um, the quick and dirty of it is that apparently all mixed, uh, all caps have to come out of mixed transitions. I can't find a way to do any cap shape in um, a completely soft or completely hard transition. They have to be mixed. Um, and finally, when playing around with the um, patterns coming out of unit circle shapes, horizontal cat eyes seem to reverse the pattern of isolations. That is, when you're doing an isolation and you switch to the IT, it becomes either in spin flower or that funky cardioid pattern. And if you go to the ET, it becomes an anti spin flower. Whereas with horizontal cat eye, the IT is the anti spin flower. And the ET is the cardioid pattern slash in spin flower. Cool. Thanks for watching, guys. More to come. Please leave comments. Let me know what you think of this. Peace.